me more. How are you guys today? We're good. Good. Yeah. Doing well. <laughs> Could you tell us your names and what each of you play? Um, I'm Catherine and I play drums. I'm Josh on the basis. I play, I'm set. <laughs> uh, I, I sing and play guitar. I'm Michael and I play guitar. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, first off, we want to congratulate you all on winning the best high school band in the Sound Overload oh, competition in April. Cheers. Uh, what was that like? That was a great experience. The young bands were really good. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was nice. Good fun. And last month, you played the uh, on 89.7 FM, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, you're obviously starting to grab the attention of the media. So are you guys soft on music or have you taken lessons? Uh, well, we took lessons at a young age, I think, all of us. But um, we all went through a music uh, program called Rock Scholars, and that's how we all met a few okay, years nice. ago. Um, and then we graduated last year, and then we've been together ever since. So, yeah, yeah. pretty nice. much yeah. self taught in the idea of like all the bad stuff now. So they teach us self, like, the song that he is, the covers we're doing, go from there. Okay, so you guys were saying you met on um, a rock scholar thing. Yeah. How long ago did, did you guys start it and meet? Uh, we were, we formed in early 2014. And it started off just Sarah, uh, Josh and I. And then last year, Mikey joined us. Yeah, we all um started at Rock Scholars I think different years. Um, but the first few ones the Rock Scholars program stayed in all the bands and then she put us all together and we've been together since 2014. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're banning what? Is there a reason behind it? Yeah, there's actually a bit of a banger called Moth Wings by Perth band called Con. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda of jacked it from that name. It's <laughs> the cover of it for the first gig that we ever did, we needed a name to put on the to put on the poster. Yeah. And so we thought, oh well, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys do have a very mature kind of old school sound to your songs. What type of bands would you say your biggest influences when making music? Oh definitely um Smashing Pumpkins, Radiohead. David Bowie, The Beatles, Silverchair, Powderfinger, oh, <laughs> a lot of old school um, 90s. That's the biggest, the, all, all alternative music in the 90s is the biggest influence for pretty much all of us. I love music from the 90s, oh, alternative yeah. bands the best. <laughs> so, was there a defining point that you really wanted to play music, like an album or a concert you went to? Uh, I guess it was after we graduated from school, was when we just we wanted to start making our own music. We were always doing covers at um, um, rock school. We've all played music since very young age. Yeah. I, I started playing drums in year five just because I thought it would be cool. But uh, <laughs> I really liked it in the end. <laughs> yeah, the first time we played at um, HQ, it was kind of our first like big key, I guess you'd say. And that kind of blew us all away. And from there, we started to up the ante. Um, now your EP next time uh, contains songs with some rather deep lyrics. What are your songwriting process in making these songs? Oh, uh, just whatever comes to it. Yeah, no, yeah, so I just writes lyrics as he plays the song, really. Yeah, and then, just sort of reflect how I'm feeling in the current space and time. Nothing direct, <laughs> like, they might seem a bit full on, some of the lyrics, but I don't know. We all contribute on different parts. Yeah, I've actually got a copy of the CD here. Available on iTunes. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so when you guys started in 2014, what do you think were the biggest obstacles for just like getting the music out there? Um, for me, it was like actually being friends with the guys, because I, I was the only girl, I, I'm the youngest in the band, and I, I just like, I don't know, that was a big obstacle for me, just like, being able to be comfortable with the band and like start playing drums louder and stuff like that. <laughs> and then I got them, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, <laughs> playing original music, I reckon. Like, we started off as a cover band, and then we sort of progressed into an original focus band. We still play covers, like, trying to play one or two every gig, but mainly originals now. Yeah.
If you could tour with any band in the world, who would it be and why? That's a tough one. <laughs> Probably Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh my god. Maybe Foo Fighters. Oh yeah, Red Hot oh, Tour, yeah. Easy. Metallica. Oh. Play a few, <laughs> play a few <laughs> stadiums and Oasis if they were still together. <laughs> Do you see you guys playing with big bands in the future? We'd like to. We look so amazing. I see that in my dreams. We're happy that we fit even in the top of the spa, like all the interviews, and then having this publicity that we've had, it's amazing because we never thought that we'd get this far. And we're just doing like gigs here at HQ that have this Yeah, we started gathering some quite a big fan base. So. Thank you guys so much for sitting down with us. You can check out Moss EP next time on iTunes, Spotify and SoundCloud.